Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations. I'm Burning Dog Face, and as you can see, the bulkhead door remains shut, so there's no going back for those custom parts for me. Say Livy. We're heading off to the observation deck so that we can climb up to. I remember this. I know it's up here. Ah! Yes, yeah, so we're heading to the hall to climb up to the observation deck. There's a thing there that needs repairing. Before the comm systems will work again. Did that stop it? What are still? It's okay, the bulkhead's closed. We just have to wait. Well, shit. Oh, I walked right into that one. Nope. Oh, well. Swing and a miss. wanted to give a shout out to Yornik, who left some interesting information about Queen Semiramis, who, like Zenobia, was a real historical person. Apparently, her name is popularly, though inaccurately, associated with the uh, Hanging Gardens of Babylon. fire this, didn't I? I don't remember firing this, but hey, I do love reloading, so... He also left some information that said that uh, apparently big cargo planes can be called freighters, so, you know, whatever. I said I wasn't an expert on that. Oh, but uh, most importantly, he let me know that Il Veltro is Italian for the Hound, which uh, makes one of these messages make a whole lot more sense. Yeah, there it is. The impure will, will not be cursed. It is their destiny to be torn apart by the fangs of the Hounds. Only the hounds are pure of purpose, and it is only they who may purge the world. You're a sick fuck, Earl. Oh, right, this thing. No. We're on the Queen Samaramis. Samaramis, sorry. Current time, Queen Samaramis. Oh. So I thought that was a typo. Okay, well. Quint learned there were two ships during his investigation. You must be on the Queen Zenobia's sister ship. Jill and Parker are probably being held on that ship. Have you been able to locate it? No, but I've got my top people on it. How much time has passed, right? Correct. It's possible that up until a few hours ago, the ships were traveling together. Search the area. See what you can find. Roger that. I wonder why the Queen Samaramis had uh, a T-Abyss outbreak on it, too. Extension cord. Weird. Jesus, what the fuck is that? Uh, 
Ah, oh, that's what that is. Those screaming things we heard about forever ago back in the casino. Any idea what Belfo's trying to do? Aside from jerking us around so we don't know what to do. Who knows? We haven't seen hide nor hair from them since that video. Yeah, I don't like it. The sooner we get to the observation deck and contact HQ, the better. At the very least, I hope they've picked up Chris's whereabouts. Uh, this room, actually. There's this letter right over here. Hmm. I should go back and check whether the uh, the water was bloodied in the other ship as well. Back to the hall. I'm gonna sneeze. What the hell just happened? D Jeez. Did you hear that? I can turn off the camera so I can sneeze. Um, while it was still loading, I heard a big crashing noise. Startled the bejesus out of me. I was expecting the ceiling to have caved in. This way, Chief. Oh. And I went the wrong way, stupid map. What? Oh. It's moving. No, it isn't. Now we can get to the observation deck. Something's up there. Sup? Jesus. Start taking a screenshot when those eyes are hanging down, but it's one of those. Honestly, I don't know that it felt bad. Out. Is it gone? No. In the clear? Gotta take a drink for that. Finally here, and it's night out, so there's nothing to see. Fair enough.
Oh. I guess I didn't count that. I don't like the look of this. Doesn't seem much like a luxury liner anymore. Hey, look at that. Probably worth mentioning that uh, worth mentioning that uh, Resident Evil Revelations was one of a handful of games for the 3DS that's compatible with uh, And get out of the way! What? No, fuck. I hit A because I thought I would have to hold down A to run. It's like a giant fucking crab. I'll tell you about the thing after this, Jesus. Do mind if you do. Oh, that is so cheap. Gonna regret that. Oh, hey. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> Oh shit. Out of ammo for everything except this. Awesome.
hell am I supposed to do about that? I'm fairly certain this isn't how this is supposed to work. Fucking fuck. The antenna is up above. Also, the presence of still more rifle ammo suggests to me that I was supposed to find a sniper rifle earlier, but I don't remember anywhere I could have gone! For fuck's sake! Picked up the rifle ammo case. Okay, um, I was starting to say before, uh, Revelations is part of one of a handful of titles for the 3DS that were compatible with, uh, oh, fuck it, were compatible with a special, uh, accessory called the Circle Pad Pro. You basically clamp it around the back of the, uh, 3DS, and it adds an extra bit onto the right side and the top so that it adds a second uh, analog nub and two more shoulder buttons which allows you to make the controls, you know, add you know, optional control schemes for games that's uh, a bit more like traditional controller, uh, you know, setup, a uh, con traditional Gee, controller setup. You need to repair the antenna first. Apparently it wasn't really that popular. Picked up Veltro keycard. Prepare for backtracking, MFers. Um. weird place to put that. Yeah, it wasn't that popular. Apparently there were some issues with how you hold it, like the, the right... Like the, it adds a, a right, uh, an analog nub on the right, and uh, apparently it was a bit too close to the, to the hand, so your thumb has to be way over. I don't know. I never tried it myself. And, uh... So there's only, you know, like maybe... 20 games on the list I saw that were compatible with it. But it did include some big titles, you know, uh, the new Kid Icarus game, Monster Hunter 3 and 4, and the 3DS version of Metal Gear Solid 3. And, of course, this. Veltro Agents Journal 1. 2004. We are at last putting our final plan into action. Jack Norman, our leader and brother-in-arms, came up with this plan. When he first heard it, we had our doubts it could even be pulled off. But now the time has come to enact this extraordinary plan thanks to the steel will of our comrades 
and the one who supported our ideals in his power and influence. He has prepared these ships for our use. These luxury liners are symbols of the degradation of humanity, and will be fitting vessels for the distribution of the virus that will purge humanity. I have been assigned the task of boarding the Queen Zenobia for our mission. Bernard Corti. 2004, 12 hours until mission start. My body is trembling, and I can't stop it. It could be the excitement or fear, or both. Strange biological organisms created by the virus are milling around the secret lab in the bilge. The virus can be dissolved in water, so anyone who drinks that water will turn into a monster. The hunter-type B.O.W. is infected off-site and will spread the virus off la uh, sorry, and spread the virus on land. The decadent eyesore that is the floating city will soon be turned into a veritable hell on Earth. You must bring hell to the people, or the scales will not fall from their eyes. That is how Norman phrased it. If that grizzled financier of ours believes in Norman, then we who serve him must do so as well. Bernard Cordy. So this thing, this place has been their staging area since before Terra Grigia. Terrible. Well, that was the timer. So, uh, before we step through that door, I'm gonna call it. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations. When we set up that antenna, and head back into the earlier areas to find out what's behind those tantalizing card readers. Later!